Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and today we're going to be taking a look at a little addition to the JDAM that's coming for the next update, and that's uh, in zone LAR indications. So, with no further ado, let's go to the air to ground master mode, select a GB38, wait for our 7 minutes 30 seconds, we'll do a target of opportunity attack with an instantaneous fuse, going to our JDAM display for a release type, we'll go to auto loft. And now we have options for 15, 30, and 45 degrees. And a bit later, we'll actually have indications on the HSI of those loft cues. Uh, for now, we'll just go for 30. And then for mission, we're waiting for some uh, data to fill that in. And let's go ahead and designate that target with the FLIR. So going to the FLIR. And it's finding a nice target up here in the airfield above. I okay, got some transports on the ramp. Let's make one of these. And designate. And now, just to be a little more clear, let's go ahead and bring up the HSI on the right DDI. And we do that now. We see we still have the minimum range and the maximum range cues. Or the maximum being the uh, in-range LAR, or launch acceptable region. But between those now, we have what's called the in-zone LAR, or again, in-zone launch acceptable region, which will get an actually in-zone cue when we're in that region. And also some additional uh, information about the drop of that weapon. Now, a bit later, like I said before, we're going to be having some lofting cues. We'll also have the ability to designate multiple impact points for JDAMs, and each of those impact points with different end zone LARs as well. So we're now approaching the uh, maximum range LAR, and let's bring up the top SMS. We see that we're 45 or 34 seconds out. Also, repeat it up here on the HUD. seconds out. And once we get to zero, we'll have an in-range queue, and then shortly after that, we'll go to an in-zone queue. Okay, in-range. Now we're in zone. And the top line, one minute, 23 seconds, indicates the time predicted of dropping the JDAM now to when it'll hit that target. And let's do that. So one away. Now we have a flight time indication of one minute and 10 seconds, which is a countdown timer until the bomb will impact that target. So let's bring up the FLIR again and take a look at that. Fifty seconds to impact. Thirty seconds. and impact. So that's the addition of the end zone queue uh, for the JDAM with some more toys uh, coming down the pipe. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.